We're live stream now. Yes, I, I hear it. I, I hear. I wait, hear. wait. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Educap TV Inglés, primer año. Mi nombre es Yolanda López. Soy profesora de la Escuela de Educación de la Universidad Católica Andrés Bello y coordinadora de Educap TV Inglés. Les invito a participar en Educap TV Inglés para primer año, dirigido a ustedes, estudiantes de educación media general. Este es un espacio único y pertinente para reforzar sus clases en el área de inglés. En la clase de hoy vamos a contar con el profesor Jofiel Santaella, estudiante de séptimo semestre de educación en la mención de física y matemáticas, que justamente está cumpliendo el rol de facilitador en el área de inglés como su proyecto de servicio comunitario. Así que, bienvenidos todos. Empezamos. Thank you very much, Yolanda. So, as she said, today we're going to talk about this English lesson. We're going to talk about asking about possession. Whose is this? So, what... I want you to know is that if you've seen the other classes before, you know that we've been working with WH questions like how to use how to make questions and to use what, where, when. Um, the latest we've, we've learned um, was about how to use who's, whom and who. But now we're just going to learn about who's. We're going to learn uh, to use who's to make questions and sentence to. And finally, we're going to learn how to ask about the possession of things. Okay, so let's begin. Firstly, I just need to remember this with you guys, demonstrative pronouns. Do you know them? Do you, do you know how to use them? For example, When do we use that and those? I'll hear you. Or if you want, just write in the chat, like, yes, we know. Yeah, we know them. Yeah. Oh. oh, thank you. I mean, I think it was you, Luisana, right? Yeah, it's me. Okay. So, yes. For example, we got um, that, those, as demonstrative pronouns that help us to indicate when a thing is far from us. For example, if I'm looking um, a pair of shoes in the mall and they are far from me, I just say, oh my God, I love those shoes. And well, in the same line, we just say that this and this uh, help us to indicate things that are close to us. This is my English book. This is my computer. I'm talking about something that is close to me in any sense, like little or a uh, little, little sense. So, well, I just want to, I just want you to remember this because we're going to use this later. But now let's talk about this. This is an introduction that can help you to understand what whose means and how do we use whose. Firstly, we just have to know that sometimes we want to know to whom an object belongs. For example, if I ask, to whom does this pencil belong? What I'm asking, I'm, a, I'm, I'm looking for the person who has the pencil or, well, who bought it or just who owns the pencil, okay? And well, this, good, this would have an answer like, this pencil belongs to me. So we just have to look or we're just going to find another way to do the same question with the same answer. And now you will see. 
I'm going to use the adaptation options right now. Yes. We just got this question. Whose pencil is this? And I am asking exactly the same thing that I asked before in the other slide. And well, the answer will be exactly the same. Whose pencil is this? This pencil belongs to me. Or I just can say this pencil is mine. But the sense of the question is just the same. So I just want to know, for example, we got Leticia and Luisana. Have you ever heard about this, about whose? Have you ever read it before, for example? Yeah. Yeah, thank I you. Many times. Yes. It is just a good topic because it's just another way to ask, as I told you, this thing here. To whom does this pencil belong? I just can turn it to whose pencil is this? And well, it is shorter than the other question. But let's see another example. Here we just got a set of books and I just can ask whose books are these? And well, as in this case, I'm just asking about who owns the books. And well, for example, we could have an answer like, these are her books. And now we're just going to focus on this word, whose. What does whose mean? So, well, this just got some translations. In Spanish, when we start a question with whose, usually we take whose as de quien. But when we use whose in a statement, it usually can be translated as cuyo. But we're going to see how to use whose for questions and statements. Oh, we got Gilda Marhi here. Good morning. So let's continue with this part. We're going to learn a little bit about the grammar of whose. You know, you have to keep in mind that when we start a question with whose, we're asking about who owns a thing or an object, an animal. But maybe it can be difficult sometimes to build, to make questions with this word. And now I'm going to show you how this works like. So firstly, every single question starts with whose, if we're going to ask who owns anything. Sometimes in English, we just say like, whose is the possessive form of who? And well, that could be a really interesting way of understanding this word. But well, as you can see here, we always going to add the whose first. We're asking, Um, a quien pertenece algo. But now, well, if we're going to ask about whose, then I just have to ask about the thing, or oh, well, indicate the thing about the thing that I'm talking about. In this case, I'm asking whose ruler is this? In Spanish, it could be something like, de quien es esta regla? And here in this question, ruler, which is in black, indicates is this thing that I'm asking for. Yep. So whose ruler is the noun, and it always goes after whose, right? So, oh, we got nine participants. 
who else is here? <laughs> oh, Ildamar, good morning. So we're talking about who's guys, and I'm explaining that this now is the noun that I'm asking about who owns it, who owns the ruler. Who's ruler? And well, when we make the question with this, oh. I'm just going to the next part, which is the verb to be, which is in red. But well, as you may notice in, in the other examples, we can use are or is. It depends if the noun is plural or singular. And finally, we got the thing that I told you we need to remember, which is the demonstrative adjective. Oh, well, in this case, it could be this, but it also can be that, this, those. Yes, it's just that we're asking about who owns anything. In this case, the thing is a ruler. So maybe I think that you can think about other things that we can ask about. I just make this question, whose ruler is this? Can you think about other question using who? I just wanna see if, you, if you're understanding what, what's going on here with the grammar of the whose questions. Oh, we got up near. Good morning, up near. Oh, yeah, Luzana, that's a good question. That's a good answer. It's David's ruler, for example. And, well, we usually answer this kind of question like that. Or, as in the examples before, uh, this ruler belongs to David. What else, Lexi, Leticia? For example, do you know or do you can you think about any question that you can make uh, with whose? If I want to know who owns a thing, how can I do a question or how can I ask that using whose? Oh, the first name you said. Oh, Leticia, whose books are these? Yes, that was exactly as we saw in the other slides. And that, that's a good example. In that case, we're using the plural form of this and are. We're not using is in that question. So, well, let's continue with this. We can also ask about who owned a thing in the past. We can make a question in simple past test. I just want to know if you understand what we're asking here. Whose dad was this? Do you know what are we asking here? Can you understand what? Uh, what I'm asking. So, yeah, it's just like asking um, the owner of the dog in the past, because maybe right now it has another owner. Yes, that's totally right. Thank you, Lizana. Yes. And well, what indicates that context is exactly the verb to be in past in this case. Very good. So maybe, yes, as you say, maybe the, the dog now has another owner, but I want to know who owned first, for example, and I just can make, whose dog was this? And maybe I can say something like, oh, this was my neighbor's dog. 
or I don't know. <laughs> really, really good job, Lisana. So we've just seen that these kind of questions can help us to, well, is this another way of asking to whom does something belongs? And it is more common in speaking for everyone there. So now we're just going to learn about the who's as a relative pronoun. So I just want to hear somebody else, maybe Leticia or maybe Ildamar or Gildamar, the team. <laughs> Or maybe a bit. Does anybody wants to read this sentence? For Michael too. Oh yes, Michael, would you like to read this sentence with us? For us. She is a student whose abilities in English are excellent. Oh, thank you, Michael. That's, oh my God, that was awesome. So, Guys, do you know what I'm saying in this sentence? For example, um, Leticia, do you know what I'm saying in this sentence? And if you remember what we told about what does who's mean in a sentence, maybe you can understand all the meaning of this in Spanish too. So let's see, okay. Oh, we got 11 participants. Good morning. Yes, David, thank you, exactly. Oh my God. <laughs> I just like how, you, how you're doing with the annotation options because yes, Who's help us to do something that let us describe more about she, about her, about this girl that we got in the picture? But I just want to know, do you know what this sentence means? Yeah, I mean, Thank it's you. like, oh, go ahead. Okay, creo que dice, ella es una estudiante cuyas habilidades en inglés son excelentes. Oh my God! Great. Yeah. Love it. I love it too. That was awesome. And yes, exactly. And now the who's, it, it helps us to indicate that that word that you said in Spanish, cuyas. But well, let's focus a little bit in the grammar things. Okay. Firstly, we just need, I just use a lot of colors to indicate what we're talking about. For example, when we're describing a specific feature in a subject, and well, here we're describing the feature, not the subject. And as you may notice here, this sentence, is an example of that. So here it says, yesterday I played basketball with Joey. Joey is the subject. And then I'm going to describe the picture, which is his height, whose height didn't let me make any points. This is the feature that I'm talking and this is the explanation of it. Can you see it? Yes, we can see it. Okay, thank you. So, oh, thank you, Lisanne. So yes, this, this is very important because 
this is the use of who's when we when we make sentence that are very important to us describe this fixture or any fixture. If we go to the slide that we've seen before, let me clean this. Okay. We just got exactly the same case. We just got the feature. And then let me look another color. The description of it. Oh my God. <laughs> Here we go. That's right. In this case, our excellent is the explanation of all uh, of the abilities, right? So who's is the word is the word that we need to introduce this kind of fixtures when we want to explain that. And maybe you can think about other examples in English about how can you use who. That's very important because the point here is to still learn how to build vocabulary. Okay, let's go with this. Now we just got a practicing part. This is very, very cool. This is a good activity and I was totally, totally um, fascinated with this. I think that all you can enjoy this because now I've just talked a lot and I just want you to talk too. But what are we going to talk about? Well, we're going to learn or we're going to ask who's these who, uh, whose is it? We got this set of things and I'm going to give you a thing, but in secret, like I'm going to send you to the chat a direct message and something like, Rizana, this thing belongs to you or David, this thing belongs to you. And then I just want, you start to ask whose belongs any of the objects we got here. Did you understand? And well, who owns the object has to say, the object is mine or belongs to me. Can you give a couple examples? Yes. yes. For example, I'm just going to use, yeah, Indira, can I make example with you? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to write here a thing uh, in the set of things that we're seeing in this, that we're watching in this slide. I'm going to give you something, but it's supposed that nobody knows what you have here. So, so it's a secret. Yes. In the chat. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I here. Okay, yeah. I have something. Now you guys need. And for example, I questions. Yeah. Yes, and the point is to make questions with whose. For example, whose pen is this? It's my pen. Oh, yes, and well, that's the point. We need you to talk a lot because we need you make questions with who's. So okay. I'm gonna write a few example questions in the chat, okay? Like whose okay. pen is this? That would be one. Oops, yes. the Hofiel by accident. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Don't worry. What would another one be? Whose Who's... desk is this? Whose is this? Yes. Or only whose is this? Whose is this? Okay. Whose lipstick? Ah, whose colors are those? Good, Luisana. Okay. Yes. I'm going to make sure everybody knows what to do. Okay, I'll stop.
Okay, got it. So what are we going, what I'm going to do is send you to your private message, things like you got, I don't know, the glasses, you got the pen. Okay, so let me see. I'm going with, with Luisana, you cannot say what you have. Okay. But well, I just want to know if you if your microphones I are able to talk. Luisana, yes. Yes. And for example, uh, Leticia, Leticia, do you have a microphone? Hildamar, Angel. Oh, I, I think I heard it. She said yes. Did you say something, Leticia? Leticia, is your oh. microphone work? Yeah. Or Ildamar and Gildamar, who has the microphone today? And Angel. Hey, say hello if you have a microphone today. Say hello. Yeah. So. And Angel. Come on, guys, say hello. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Microphone. Got it. So, well, I'm going with David. David, I'm going to give you a thing. And Michael, I would like. Angel. Let's see, Michael. Great. Okay, so you, you sent me something, right? I sent you something. And I'm okay. just going to, we're just going to ask about things. And well, um, let me go with Michael. <sighs> and well, I think that we're done. Yes. So, Obnil, do you have microphone to talk? Sorry. Did you receive the message, the message, Michael? Yes. Pretty cool. So yeah. Okay, well, I think it could be all. Let me go ahead with um oh, I'm just lacking one, sorry. So I'll go with you, Yolanda, right? Yes. So yes, we got this thing. I think, yes, they are all, or we're just lacking one. Yes. But I just want to know, yes, Obnil, sometimes he has, I don't know if Ildamar or Dildamar has microphone too. So first thing that you need to remember is we're talking about things that we have far or close to us. What demonstrative pronouns are we going to use to make the question? That, those, this. It's something that you have to keep in mind to make the question. So, well, Luisana, would you like to ask about, for example, I don't know, the bag or the desk? Whose is the object belongs? Whose desk is this? Oh, yes. Go ahead. Can you say the question again? Yeah. Whose desk is this? Oh, thank you. Whose desk is this? Oh. <laughs> Whose desk is this? Yes. It's not my desk. It is not my desk. Let's see. Oh my God. Does, I think nobody. Oh, I, believe the, I, I believe the desk is mine, isn't it? Oh. 
Yes, you have to keep on mind the objects. Whose desk is it? Mine. The desk uh, is mine. Uh, yes. David's desk. Uh, okay. Oh, thank Great. you. Great. <laughs> oh my God. I was like, oh my God. I Whose think glasses I are those? Yes, that's a good question. Whose glasses are those? Oh, I think those are Indira's glasses. Isn't oh. it? No, are those they? are not my glasses. Oh. So, whose who's glasses are those? The owner? Who? What about these glasses? Like, see it. Who are those? <laughs> So we got this here, we know who has this desk. But now, I just want to see maybe Leticia doing that question. Leticia, would you like to ask about the glasses? About who, whose is it? Whose glasses are those? Yes, okay, go ahead, Leticia. Oh, those are not Indira's glasses. No, but who are? Oh, got it, Leticia. So you're just going to ask the question that you have up in the chat. Uh, well, just up in front of your message, just right up of your message, sorry. Now we're asking about the glasses. Who glasses are those? Would you like to say that with us, Leticia? Whose glasses are those? Leticia, use your microphone and repeat the, the question. Yeah. Okay. Who glasses are those? And now you answer. No, well, is that isn't, I think, Yolanda, are the glasses yours? No. Oh, God. <laughs> Those yes, are not mine. Those are not mine. Maybe, I don't know. Sorry, I couldn't hear you well. These are my glasses, can be. No, it's not mine. Oh, yes, it could be. <laughs> Are these David glasses? No, they're definitely not mine. I <laughs> <laughs> um, need glasses. Oh, I need glasses too. But well, as we <laughs> find who owns the glasses, we just can ask about the markers. So what about the markers? Does anybody wants to know who owns the glasses? How do we make the question using whose? Let's see it. Oh, yes. Somebody wrote the question in the, well, the on the slide, yes. So we just got that question. Whose markers are those? <coughs> Lisanna, would you like to say that question and see? Sure. Um, whose markers are those? Well, we just have to wait the answer. Who owns Those the are mine. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. I used Michael. to have for my classes. <laughs> Michael, are those Michael? Are those your glasses, Michael? Yes, it's mine. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Because I gave him the markers in a private message, like, markers are yours. I have the yeah. same. Oh. Oh, impressive. Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Like see the chat. Oh yes, and Indira wrote the answer in the chat. It could be a good answer like, yes, those are my glasses. And yes, those are my mark my markers. Yes. It could work too. So well, we just got this thing and let's ask for other thing. I just want to make a question. Whose calculator is that? That's my calculator. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's totally great. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you. And yes, it is yours. I think we just, yes. yeah. We just know who, will, who has the desk, who has the markers, and now who has the calculator. So, well, I think that we just can continue with this because the point is to make was to make questions with whose, and we've seen how to make questions with whose. Now, I just want to do something else with you because we learn how to make questions questions with whose, but not how to use it as a relative pronoun, and we'll see this activity. I just want. Maybe you can write in the chat and I can help you writing what you write in the chat on the slide. I don't have problem with that. So now I'm going to show you a picture is about Catherine. And she had a picture of herself and her duck. And we can make some descriptions using whose. And I just want you to try to make some description using whose. You need to remember what whose means in a sentence as a relative pronoun. So I just got here this sentence. I got the picture of her and I got the sentence. She's Catherine, the girl whose dog is a Dalmatian. Do you know what we mean in this sentence? Did you know what we mean in this sentence? Yes. Oh, that's pretty cool. So are you able to make a, quest, uh, a similar sentence using whose? Um, she's Catherine, the girl whose dress is red. Oh, thank you. Excellent. Yes. Michael, would you like to make a sentence describing something about Catherine? Using whose? Oh. Is anybody else there? I hear a silence. I hear a silence. Silence is here. Oh, got it. So for example, Indira, what sentence can you do using whose to describe her, for example. How about um, Catherine is a woman whose hair is beautiful. Yes, that could be a good sentence too. Let me type it. So, I just want to see this. Okay. Catherine, you told me that she's a girl, right? A girl or a woman? I said a woman. Oh, yeah. So I just got this thing here. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Oh. That could be a good sentence too. So I just want to know, for example, if David or, oh, 
or Leticia, can you make a sentence using whose to describe Catherine? Now we know. COVID. Yeah. See you we know. I can. Oh, you can. Go ahead, Yolanda. Thank you. Catherine is a woman whose nails are red. Nice. Oh, yes. Well, everything, uh, almost everything about her is red. Catherine is a woman whose nails are red, right? Yes. Can you see it? Yes. Excellent. So yes, here we're using whose to describe as we told you. Oh, I think I need to look another color. I'm talking about a picture about hair and then I just go with the description Description of that feature. Leticia okay. wants to share. Go ahead, Leticia. Yes. Okay. Catherine is a woman whose lip is red. Whose? Oh. Whose lips? Oh, yes. I know what you mean. But do you think it could be is or are? Are? Yes. That's right. Because, well, we say lips in plural. And yes, that's a good sentence, Leticia. Great. Catherine is a woman whose lips are red. Yes. Great. Thank you, Leticia. You're doing awesome. Now, I, I wrote it. Yes. Can you see the sentence in the picture? Yes. Great. So, Leticia, would you like to say this sentence again for us? Okay. Catherine is a woman whose lips are red. Excellent, that's totally great, yes. And just the same. Um, oh, I'm going to draw a line, yes. Whose lips, we're talking about the lips and then I describe something about the lips, the Catherine's lips. So. I'm going to clear all this. Yes, this was a good activity. I just want, I'm just going to put this um, presentation for you later. And then you can practice about what kind of sentence can I do using whose. So now we're just going to do what you like a lot. We're going to play Kahoot. Making questions about whose. So I just want to know, are you able to play Kahoot today, guys? Luisana, Leticia, Ildamar. Angel. Kahoot. <laughs> yes. We're going to play Kahoot. Okay. I'm going to get my share, my screen up so we can play it. Yes. Thank you, Indira. So, yes. We're going to learn about a little bit more about whose questions. Angel, okay. here we have Angel, Ildamar, Leticia, Gildamar, and Ovni. Yes, and, and we have Luciana. Diego in YouTube. So um, you can see the YouTube is live here, and we're going yes. to go to the 
whose tracks are those, gang? Here you will see different animal tracks, and you have to guess whose tracks are these. So I'm going to play as a teacher, and Hofia will guide us. Just tell me yeah. what to do, okay? Classic, right? Yes. Okay. Music? Where's our music? There we go. Oh, okay. So you got you just got the pin there, go in and let's play. Yeah. Oh my god, I love that one. That's the first time we've had disco. That's good. Yes. Okay, Ildemar is in. Woohoo! Yes. Two. Oh, Gildamar, Ildamar, Leticia. Oh, Luis. Okay. Oh, David is there too. All right. So let's wait if we can see anybody else. Okay, come on, guys. I mean, I don't know if Andrew can be able to get in too. And, and Diego. Not, yes, and Diego, or, well, if you're not able to get in, you just can type the answers in the chat. Oh, no, yeah. in the chat is not good because. I mean, I just wanted to make sure. Like they're understanding the questions if they cannot get into Kahoot. Yes, Luisana, Gildamar, Iltamar, Leticia. Uh, we wait for Angel, Diego. And Ovnil. Oh. I sent a message to YouTube. Yes, will that will Diego get into? That's the question. Okay. Are you ready to start? Yeah. Yes. We're ready. Yes. So, whose drugs are these? <laughs> What are we watching? It's not. Those tracks are this. I know. What is that thing? Oh my pig. god. I think it's a pig. Yeah, it looks like a big like big track too. Yes. Cheated on us. <laughs> oh my Those god. Those tracks are a llama's tracks. That's so funny. Okay. Yes, I mean, how how do we know? Do you have to remember to, to oh to sorry? Remember? Yes, oh, yes. Next. How are the pops of the animals? Whose tracks are these? Oh my god. Very difficult. Yes. A rat? A gecko? I think it's a gecko. Or a oh, lizard. Uh, I, it was, I don't know anything about tracks, so it's pretty, it's pretty anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh! Oh my god! Yes! Oh my god, this is so... <laughs> We're discovering a lot of words here. Oh no. Oh, there's Whoa. a green. <laughs> I want one. Really, we don't know what is that. <laughs> oh my That's god. Hedgehog. Isn't hedgehog. it cute? I want a oh. hedgehog. Okay. Next. Did uh. anybody get it right? Oh, Leticia, good job. Uh. Oh, god. Just 
She, it looks like she loves animals. Whose tracks are these? Who? Oh, that one's easy. Oh, yes. Whose, Whose tracks track are these? Snake, worm, lizard, or crocodile? No, I imagine everyone put it in wrong. That this should be impressive. Look at it. It's easy. Yes. An magic like pops. Good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was a snake. But look, the worm is like a snake too. So, but oh. you see, yes, look at that. that is so confused. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's so good. So, oh God. <laughs> So now we just got whose trucks are these? Oh, it is. These are ducks track or turn chicken seagull. Whose trucks are these? I mean, I think you may notice what it is. <laughs> it's a bird. Oh. oh my god. Wait, no. Can someone tell me what is a seagull, please? That's what is different. this? It's yeah. a different kind of bird. It's this one. Oh my god. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that fooled me a lot. <laughs> Oh, a duck is a seagull. Impressive. But it flies. It doesn't, it shouldn't be walking. How is it Why? that I don't know these Please. many animals? Oh. We need to study more. Yeah. Biology. We really do. Ah. So like in first grade. Uh, oh. Another one. That's like a that's money and like, a, like a bird. Uh, okay. it finally, it's not another hedgehog. Cat. I don't think it's a hedgehog. And I, oh, oh I, a platypus. It's I a platypus. I'm sure it's a platypus. Tasmanian devil. <laughs> Tasmanian devil. Tasmanian. That's what I think too. Yes. <laughs> yes. Woohoo! Woo yes. You guys know about the Tasmanian devil? Yeah, I've heard of it, but wow, it's uh, no, I, I thought I just like the name and I put it. It's oh, <laughs> I mean, they're they're cute if they're not mad, but they always mad. Not <laughs> yeah. uh, so good. Oh God! Let's see. Yeah. It is a paw. Whose drugs are these? Bad panda, steal of beer, and anteater. I don't know what he said, but good. Don't worry, you're going to learn about. I feel I'm living under a rock. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? You see? An anteater? You guys know what an anteater is? No. 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 Why not? You have, you have them in Venezuela. Yes. Do we? What eater? Oh, anteater. no way, anteater. <gasps> have them in the forest. <sighs> no way. I'm shocked. <laughs> Did you know this? Louisiana and yeah, we know I that. I, remember. I, I even you suited that. It's like they're so no, cute with why? the babies. That's hilarious. Yes. Okay, next. Where is it? Sorry, I'm very slow. Okay, next. Okay. So let's see. Oh my god, we're just lacking three more. So, 
Those drugs are the human albatross the launch nest monster. Oh my god. I'm gonna select the weirdest name. <laughs> oh no, they are different, but oh the hook disappeared. Oh, it disappeared. I'm sorry. Okay, so what's the answer? Seal? Seal. Oh, so it yes. was not the weirdest one. I did it. Oh. I, yes. I did it. <laughs> Perfect time. I just know these. Let's I don't see know the what. next. How is it that Luisana is winning? Yeah. Scorpion and oh my god wasp okay it's not an ant <laughs> yeah i don't think it is a wasp Tarantula. maybe it could be i don't know if the a pops will look like that a scorpion Ooh. Oh. oh my god scorpion great Yes, finally. Finally. <laughs> I did something good. Grayson <laughs> is still on top. Good job. Yes, good job. I love. Oh my God, let me see. Okay. Oh my God. What is this? Lionster? It's not a tiger. It's not a crocodile. Could be a yeah, Lionster. Police her. Or could be a head. Oh. Crocodile? Please start. Crocodile? Oh my god. Crocodile. Mm -hmm. Crocodile. Oh my god. <laughs> Looks weird. Yes. It doesn't look like a crocodile. Like I thought a crocodile paw would look like. Hmm. Mm. Still a head hat. Hedgehog. I think that's a rat. Rat, a mouse? Oh my god. Whose Mole? tracks are these? Rats. <laughs> Mole, mouse. Yes, I think. Oh. Well, you see, I was going to select it because it was the weirdest. You guys know what a mole is? No. Oh, you no. don't know what a mole is? No. no. Oh! Okay, so then after some games. Underground and they yeah. have no eyes. <laughs> yes. Oh. You're blind. Oh. Not so good. Are they blind? Yeah, because they can't feel see. like that. Yeah. <gasps> they can't see. Really? I didn't know. No, I, I don't know eyes. about that. Um, eyes are closed. Wow. A mole. Cute. They're cute, but they're pests. Yeah, yeah, they, they look cute, but they have something in their mouths when they open it that looks weird. Yeah. So, oh, Ildamar, you were doing great. Who won? Who won? The Fuser was. Oh. Right. Yeah. Oh my God. He's in the first place. Leticia. Yes. Luisana and Ildamar. Very good job. Very good. I mean, Leticia, you're the zoologist here. Good job. Oh my God. Okay, so we're so gonna go back to the the class. The class. Yes. Good job, Leticia. So we're just going. Back to, okay. So we just have to, this, this summary, 
which help us to identify some important things in, in the studying of who's, right? So, as I told you at the beginning, so, uh, sometimes we just know who's as the possessive form, form of who. And well, we just use who's to make questions about who owns a thing. In this case, who's, whose book is this? I'm trying to know who owns the book. But it also can be used as a relative pronoun in the sentence like, she is my friend whose writing is neat. I'm talking about the writing and I'm describing that writing. And well, if we remember whose can be, in well, in Spanish, whose is, the quien, when we start a question, or can be cuyo, when it is used as a relative pronoun. So I think, well, this was the all class today about who's, you just got these uh, slides in the classroom, but now I'm going to share, share with you the important things about, the important things that you need to do. So firstly, the attendance, don't forget the attendance. And we just got the class code to get into Google Classroom and see our material. There you can improve your English skills and well, to build your vocabulary. So this was the whole class today, guys. How you feel today? You, we were learning a lot, a lot about animals. Oh, thank you, Yolanda, for, put the, for putting the attendance. Yes. So was today's very class was very job. interesting. We learned yeah. about who's, whom, about tracks, and also about animals. Yes, a lot <laughs> about animals. Lots of new animals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, a very good job. Good job, guys! Yay! So yes, this was the whole class today. It was a pleasure for me to be teaching you. Any doubt, any question? We got the classroom code. You can get in there. And I'm putting uh, activity from the support team in the classroom. The Kahoot is in the classroom. Oh, and thank you. Everything's in the classroom. Yes, we have the classroom up to date. Thank you a lot. So well, guys, um, thank you. See you next Monday. And Bye. Ivai, thank you, Leticia. Thank you, Demar. I'm thank proud you, Angel. Bye, thank you, Michael. Have a beautiful week. You yes, too. Yes, the same for you. you. Thank you, Avnil, Diego. Goodbye, Avnil and Diego and Angel. Ildamar, David. Thank you, everybody. Bye.